Okay, we are basically ready to go. Basically. Uh, hold on, let me turn, make sure my volume's off. It is now. Okay. <clears throat> we'll swap it over. Swap it over. There we go. Phone's going. Laptop's going. Yep. Everything's fine. Hey, how you doing? All right. Let's hang out for a bit. Let's get back get away, to operator. Battle Network Six. All right. Last time on Battle Network Six, we finished go uh, fighting Dive Man and stop uh, Blackbeard from. Letting wild animals run amok again, kind of like Beastman. Uh, we are also on the way to become the Navi to, or having Mega Man be the Navi to give tour guides for the S expo. And now we are told we need to go to court for the trial of Blackbeard. You know, the first time Mega Man uh, Lan actually has to go to court for a villain, he actually stopped. We're the one that thwarted Blackbeard, and they want us to testify against him. Hey, Sydney, how's it going? Are you familiar with Battle Network at all, Sydney? <laughs> but right now but right now we are going to Greentown I am doing fine Sydney you see we are going to court you know to actually testify against a villain we actually stopped you know, it's the first Mega Man had, uh, Land had to do. It's actually kind of shocking this hasn't happened before. A nature uh, hold on, hold on, what'd you say? I'm, I'm a nature scientist, working on breeding many kinds of flowers. Why? I want to improve a flower's scent until it makes people's souls warm with delight. They have a mysterious aura to them. Let's see. It's the symbol of Greentown, the founding area of this town. Punishment for crime, justice for the people, is written on the pedestal. This saying is muddled after the way plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen into the air. It's sort of like, breathe in crime, breathe out justice. We could jack in. <laughs> we can enter the statue. F Why? I don't know. I don't know why the statue has a computer attached to it, but hey, it, it has a reg up too. But what's been going on, Sydney? It's been a been a little while. What's been going on? This is the symbol comp. This monument is wrapped in the ideas of Greentown. Please keep its please keep its meaning stored in your memory. Oh, okay, Cragger. Okay. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't matter what Cragger can do. We have Flame Hook. We'll find out what he does later. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get his chip. Okay, we got some Zenny. 2,400. Pretty good. Anything else in here? Just more viruses. Let's see. Uh. Okay, hold on do this. We'll hit them both with a wide sword. Man, these guys attack, like, really slow. They were never the slow before. When did you finish Paper Mario? I finished it last Thursday. 100%ed it. There are flowers lining up the open space here. Be careful not to get stung up, stunned by the bees flying about. How about some flowers grown in Greentown? Enjoy not only their beauty, but also their scent. 
All the flowers here are beautiful, so it's hard to say one is better than any of the others. The space here, be careful not to be stunned by these yet. Uh, what do you got to say? Uh, just take a deep breath. Uh, nice, huh? The air in Greentown it has a smell second to none. I hear some sort of special lecture is gonna start. Well, no one's here, so can't do that. Yeah, I 100%ed the Thousand Year Door last Thursday. Then I did a one-off on Friday and started this this week. Doing overtimes of your art. Yeah. Not able to come to it. It's, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? It happens. You'll find the lotus flowers are in the pond. They have a mysterious aura to them. But did you end up getting it done? Oh, you got some sub chips. What do you got? Lock enemy, sneak run, untrap. We'll probably need untrap at some point, but not right now. Wait, who are you? Okay, well, he's very mysterious. Yeah, it happens. Wow, what a big building! This has to be the courthouse! Freeze! Huh? You see, Battle Network takes place in the year 20XX, so basically anywhere between the year 2000 and 2000, uh, you know, 2000 and 2099, where the future is so advanced, everyone has a little device that can make phone calls and send email and uh, connect to the internet. And everything is high tech and connect to the internet. So, you know, a very sci-fi, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, did you say something? Land Hikari, you will stop where you are. How do you know my name? You will be quiet and follow my orders. This is a command. This is a command. Ugh. Why should I listen to some weirdo I don't know? I'm only doing my duty. You are not making any sense. Anyway, I got an important trial to go to. And I won't be commanded by some suspicious guy. Let's go, Mega Man. Y yeah. Progressing in... Of course, yeah, doing the story. Going for 100%, of course, but that'll be... A lot of that will be post-game. This is the first time I've been to the courthouse. I'm so nervous. Well, it makes sense. I mean, you haven't just moved to this town recently. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! These are games I played when I was a kid. I haven't played these games in, like, ten years. Now where I've heard that sound before... I know it means something bad. Oh no, more security bots. Uh, I knew it. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Oh uh, yeah, here and there. Yeah, wait a second. I was told to come here to testify. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Restate your name. I'm Lan Hikari. Uh, processing na the name, Lan Hikari. Beep. As suspected, you are not on the list. Therefore, you are a suspicious person, and must be an intruder. S suspicious an intruder? What? Greentown Ordinance Number One Two Eight states that anyone who enters the courthouse must have received prior approval from the court. You are breaking the above ordinance. You will now be arrested. Didn't get my. Po uh, so it seems like the profile picture is done, but I'm waiting on the banner. And I ha and I don't know any updates on the banner just yet. Wait, wait, Mr. Director, I called for this boy to stand as a witness. I simply forgot to enter his name into the list. Of course you did. You know, and it was my mistake. I will add him to the list now. Special permission granted. Have a nice day. Imagine if all courthouses ha are like this. We're not at the... We're almost at the dystopia. Uh, I'm really sorry for the little mix-up, my boy. Uh, what were those robots just now? I will, I will. If you try to enter this courthouse without permission, you'll be arrested by those punishment robots you just saw. You could get arrested for something like that? I suppose I should explain how T Greentown came about. This town was founded on the theme of a crime-free society, so rules and laws are more strictly... You know, like, I've been trying here and there, and it's like, like the whole emote thing, thing, right? And I'm making a little bit of progress, but as I'm realizing, I don't know if it has to do with, like, a setting I have on, or if it's just the program, but now it's more pixel art than, 
you know, just like freehand, you know what I mean? So now it's either I need to find a setting to turn that off, or I have to go with pixel art in, in mind, but I don't think pixel art is, or I should say, I don't think the program is really built with that in pixel art in mind, if that makes sense. Uh, so rules are more strict strictly enforced here. There is also a reason why there is so much greenery as its ties to the town's theme. Research is still ongoing, but the best models for a crime-free town seem to include nature in, some, in their attributes. And that is why Greentown is full of nature now. Wow! But I still need permission to get into court, right? So how do I get it? You'll need to go into Green Area 2 Net Cafe to get it. I was going to go there myself and get it earlier. I'm sorry I forgot to take care of that. It's okay. I'll go and get it and be right back. The fastest way to green area is through that tablet. Oh, and green area is full of trees, so please take this. We got an axe to chop down trees. All right, be careful and good luck, my boy. Well, time to go on the net and chop some trees down. Because, you know, that makes sense. Let's see. I'm a sub, sub chip merchant. What do you got? You know what? I'm gonna buy an unlocker. So I think I just need to mess around with the program a little bit more and figure out what I'm doing wrong. But when it comes to the actual drawing itself, it's more of like I think it's just one of those. The more I work on it, it'll, the more it'll look better. If it looks a little bit rough right now, if that makes sense. How many chapters are there in this game? Chap- it's not really a chapter system like Paper Mario, but you could kind of look at it that way. Uh, let's see. I already beat Circus Man, so we are- we've beaten three of the main story bosses already. And I forget how many there are. I think there's at least two or three more before the final boss, I think. Again, it's not really a chapter system. But yeah, how familiar are you with Battle Network? I'm take recommendations if you need. I know, I know. I just need to mess around with it. But may uh, maybe I should ask, how familiar are you with Krita program? Because that's that might be part of it. Uh, the, uh, the art program Krita. It's like a free art program. That's what I've been using. One shot one. Isn't that like a pretty good one? Damages enemies with corn. You know what? I'll throw that in. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's get rid of Aqua Needle. Because again, maybe there's a setting I need to turn off or something. Hmm. So sneaking in a snack isn't a crime. That makes perfect sense. Don't jump to conclusions. If you snuck a set, snack of caviar, that would be a first-class crime. Hmm, I suppose you're right. But wait a second. What if the caviar was snuck as a snack was expired? The person who s snuck that snack would feel awfully sick. Then it would be a crime against the snack sneaker. Hmm, a compelling argument indeed. Such a riveting <laughs> conversation. Uh, what are we doing? We are studying for the bar exam for, uh, to be lawyers. We're calling our group Lawyers in the Making. We are making our future by studying, and the goal of our studies is to become lawyers. Are you planning to become a lawyer too? Uh, no. But that's not a bad thing. So then you must want to be a judge. I don't recommend trying to become a judge. Not many people pass the judge's tests. You should try to become a lawyer. We'll let you in our group cheap. <laughs> Maybe next time. Uh, no, Krita. Sorry. Uh, here, let me type it in. Krita. That's how you spell it. By the way, it is very warm today. It is very muggy. And I really wish I had the fan on. <laughs> Welcome, and thank you for coming to Green Area. The motto for this area is pure, bright, and beautiful. Thus, going against the rules is simply absurd. Farewell. What do we got here? Programs? What? Ooh, programs. Uh, HP memory. Okay, custom one. Oh, I might buy that 
Yeah, Mega Folder 1, Float Shoe, Cheap Stuff. Wait, what? Custom Screen Shuffles Chips 1. Oh, Chip Shuffle. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I just need to. I just need to work with the program a bit more, that's all. Attack plus 1. How much is that? Okay. Uh, attack HP plus 200. I want to get custom folder one. Also work on Adobe softwares. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I had a friend. I have a friend who was using Adobe for a while, and I was I was helping him out with a project he was working on that never came to uh, never came through. And I remember there was like a tool that could be used in there that I thought, oh, this would be so useful. It was basically like a. Uh, Basically, you can make a line, like the line tool, and then what you can do with the program is, like, with this tool, you can basically take that line and bend it however you wish. I'm thinking, oh, I should use that again. I remember using that, and it was pretty useful, but I didn't see it. So, yeah. Either I'm not looking in the right spot, or Krita doesn't have it. Ooh, we got sub-memory, okay. That's nice. I am the program for this reference book. Reading this book will be like a revelation. Yo-Yo Star. Okay. Gonna need that, but I don't think I'm gonna throw it in. Shrubberies. Um, Vulcans would do the trick. A little difficult, but once you're expert, you can make anything. Exactly, exactly. I only dabbled with it a little bit when I was helping my friend out and stuff. Actually, I was using it to help out with, like, video making. He was, like, doing art stuff, but then I was, like, borrowing his Adobe stuff to make, you know, to help make the videos, basically. But I haven't done that in a while. You probably know this already, but the net is public property. So if you try any mischief, you may be fine. My suggestion is you is to forget about mischief altogether. Ah, uh, yes, but that doesn't stop the net mafia, so... Good luck with that. It's just more of, like, crit is just what I have access to right now, so gotta try to work with it. If you go down that slope, the small roads get tangled. Kind of like the roots of a tree. Still want to try the corn move, but I keep getting hot flame hooks. I mean, I shouldn't complain about flame hook. It is a good move. But hey, Flame Hook allows me to get another corn pot. Or corn shot, I mean. Different code, though. Different code. Let's see. I, I'm, I need to go to green area, too. That's right. Um. Oh. Pass through here. You must have the knowledge of the laws. I will now test your law knowledge. Your question is from Greed Ordin... Greentown Ordinance 182. What is the punishment for hitting Mr. Prog on the head? Punishment for hitting Mr. Prog on the head? There's actually a law about that? Do you know the answer, Mega Man? No, not a clue. But it looks like Green Area 2 is just beyond this door. So what now? I guess we should go look for the answer. Yeah, I probably can do it. I just need to just continue to spend more time working on it. It's one of those things where it's like, it looks rough right now, but I just need to dabble with it a little bit more. I think I need to talk to these guys again. Okay, no, not you specifically. Maybe you? You change your mind? You'd like to be... Uh, you'd like to become a lawyer and join lawyers in the making? I yes! I forgot to mention that the membership fee is 1,000 zenny. Oh, come on! It's that much? Hey, if you think of, of how much you'd make as a lawyer, it's really a bargain. Yeah, it's basically saying we charge 10 bucks to join. Now you are a member of the lawyers in the making. If you keep studying here, you too will become specialists in the law. Do your best. Someday you'll be a lawyer. Okay, but I need to know specifically... Okay, a new member. Pleased to meet you. If you ever need help, just ask me. Huh? What happens when you hit Mr. Frog on the head? I know. I just studied this. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, I remember. If you hit Mr. Frog on the head, the punishment is something that is infuriating. It's true. Really? The last time I hit one, the punishment got me so mad. That's it? Wait, I wonder if you really would get an infuriating punishment from this one. Well, okay. It sounds like that's the answer. Hit Mr. Frog on the head, and then you're going to be infuriated. I don't know what that means, but okay. These laws are weird. Laws are weird in the future, isn't it? Risky honey. What is that? Bee hot. Bees attack while hive defending. I'm gonna test both of these out, actually. I'll replace Aqua Needle. But, like, if it is. Uh, going back to the critic uh, stuff. Uh, if it is basically more pixel art, it could also just be with how low the canvas is, because, you know, it's a 112 by 112 canvas, because, you know, that's how emotes are for Twitch. That also could be a big factor. <laughs> uh, so, like, because of how low the canvas is, it could be, uh, what am I trying to say? That's where it's really kind of becoming more pixel art than, like, anything else. But if I can't change some settings, or if I can't find a tool that lets me, like... Because I can zoom in, and I'm able to... I'm able to zoom in and see the individual squares, but, like, I haven't found a tool that just specifically fills in one of the squares, you know? I need to find that. That would make things a lot easier. Uh, the punishment is something that is infuriating. I got that wrong, didn't I? That is correct! You may pass. So just for hitting some uh, Mr. Prog on the head, your punishment is something infuriating. What is something infuriating? Nails on a chalkboard? Is that infuriating? No, that's more... No, that's not infuriating. Okay, what do we got? Now let's go Uncle Soul, or Uncle Cross, that I need to say. Let's go this. One more. Get out of here. Ah, uh, just some extra zenny. It's okay. I was gonna say, can I buy custom one? But no, I can't. What do you guys say? Time to water the plants. Fla la la la. It's been said. You can't treat plants roughly. That is the law here in Greentown. There are digital plants and digital water. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but okay. Oh, okay, uh, let's test out Risky Honey. Oh, it's basically 50 damage. And it's a multi-hit move. That's really, that's really good. That is really good. Uh, Corn Shot. Let's see. A multi-hit move for 50 damage. Each hit, I don't know how many times it hits, but both are good. Both are good. Ooh. I might throw both in. Do I want Tri Arrow? Actually, Tri Arrow is okay. Actually, no, Boomerang's pretty good. Boomerang's pretty good. Uh, I'm thinking, let's start getting rid of the swords. Let's throw that in. We'll throw this in. There we go. Three corn shots. We have a couple risky honeys. Let's go up here. Ah, uh, here's the cafe. Welcome to Greentown Nut Cafe. Courtroom entry permits. Of course you can apply for those here. What is your operator's name? Lanny Kari. Okay, Lanny Kari. Okay, you are on the list. Let me give you the authent data. If you take a pet containing this data to the... Uh, court foyer, the ID machine will automatically identify, 
identify you as Lan Hikari. If you do not have the pet with the data installed, the ID machine will reject you. So please exercise with due care. Got it, thank you. All right, I think we can leave. That Navi there has been the victim of all sorts of fraud. A lawyer tried to get the details, but apparently that Navi is more, was more than the lawyer could handle. Like, what do you mean? Oh, this is awful. Calm down, what kind of fraud are you the victim of? Tell me all the details. If you don't tell me everything, we can't sue. Ah, uh, I'm so mad, I can't calm down. I mean, if you just hate someone, you just hate them. Yeah, this is absolutely 100% terribly awful. There is no helping this one. Yeah, it, it sounds like just trying to sue for the sake of suing. Like, it's not actually giving crime information. All right. Time to go testify. I wonder if it's really okay to just walk in now. That Navi said just now, just, that Navi just now said that if you have the pet that has the permission data on it, the security gate should be automatically let you in. So it's probably okay. All right, I'll give it a try. Yay, no security bots. Hey, looks like I'm in. Hey. Over here, over here. Looks like you got the permission data with no problems. Yeah, it went okay. By the way, oh sorry. This man is the prosecutor, uh, is the prosecutor who is in charge of the case involving the aquarium. Pros uh, prosecutor Ito. Ah, so you are the one testifying today. How do you do? I'm Prosecutor Ito. Um, I kind of, I kind of know, but what exactly is a prosecutor? <laughs> oh, sorry. A prosecutor is basically a person that looks into an incident and tries to bring the culprit into into court to face justice. That's what I do. And it's an important job. Sorry, your client was texting. Let me see. Ah, not much. Just going through plot. It's all good. And today's trial is one is one part of my job. So that's what you do. Oh, I forgot. I'm Lan Hikari. Nice to meet you. Lan Hikari, huh? That's a nice name. But really? When you've been a prosecutor as long as I have, you have heard a lot of names, and you can tell just you can tell just by a name if a person is good or bad. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> you are a good person. Or am I wrong? <laughs> well, when you put it that way, your parents gave you a very good name, you know. Come to think of it, your father, he's one of the top five scientists in the world, Dr. Yuichiro Hikari, right? Oh, oh is that so? I didn't know that. How did you know that? I ran a little background check on you beforehand. It's something that needs to be done here for the trial. Am I liking my emotes? Well, uh, I'm still trying to work on it. I've been saying I need to mess around with the program a lot to try to work on it a bit more. Ah, uh, but I'm jealous that your father is Dr. Hikari. I would love to talk with him, even for just a little bit. Really? I'll, I'll tell him that. You will? I was only half serious. I mean, I never thought... You two seem to have a lot to talk about, but we should really get to the trial. Well, that's the thing. When it seems like Krita has it set up to basically just be pixel art. Unless there's a setting I need to switch. And I don't know if it's just like the canvas is just that small. But as I'm like adjusting, I'm like realizing that this is pixel art. And that's fine. It's just not what I was expecting. Speaking of that, this is your first time here, right, right, Lan? I think you should take a look around the courtroom. I think you'll be surprised by what you see there. The system here is really something else. The courtroom is right behind those huge doors. And a special system. Sounds exciting. But, like, I need to definitely find a tool within Krita to let me just fill in one of the dots by itself, because so far I can't, I don't have that. It's actually more frustrating a little bit that right now, but... I just need to figure out what tools to use, that's all. Actually, I'm a new prosecutor who just passed the bar exam. I still don't know my from my left from my right. Uh-oh. No authorized personnel. Let's go into the courtroom. Ah, oh, on a field trip to the courthouse, I see. Look at the tree inside this courtroom. It's called the Judge Tree. Of course, it isn't just a normal tree. It will automatically make prudent, just court decisions. It is a milestone of a machine. In summary, there is no need for a judge. We let the judge tree handle everything. 
I probably will. Besides, I only have, like, a couple ideas anyway, so. Normal people are prone to mistakes, no matter how experienced the judge. There are times when they make an unjust decision. Taking that into consideration, with the goal of getting justice every single time, we thought of how we could improve the system. Our answer was very simple. If people are prone to making mistakes, then why not use something other than a human as a judge? The fruit of this debate was the uh, botanical justice system, also known as the judge tree. Uh, this is the dystopia that we deserve. <laughs> this judge tree is basically just still just a simple plant. We must still give it water and fertilizer. Actually, I'm in charge of making sure the judge tree stays healthy. Today, I have to give it water and fertilizer. I'm so busy. I don't have free time at all. Uh, I gotta run to the basement. Oh no, obviously. It's just more of... I, I feel like I should give it a try. At least for a little bit. But I, I... I don't know. I only have a few ideas anyway. Not enough to do the entire email list. This judge tree is actually a giant tree which has been living in this exact spot for hundreds of years. We add some cybernetics to make it capable of hearing human voices. That made it the perfect system of justice. And that is how the judge tree was born. This is the dystopia we deserve. The judge tree, huh? I wonder what it's like. We basically let AI make the dis uh, be the judge of, uh, of, of our court system. This is the future we deserve. Well, since it makes all the judgments for the trials, I guess that it's got its own will, like us net navvies. So you think this tree can hear my voice too? Just like you, Mega Man? I have no idea. If Skynet hasn't happened yet, it sure will soon. <laughs> hey, Mr. Judge Tree, if you hear me, answer, okay? Hey, Mr. Judge Tree. Right, of course, of course. I only have a few ideas, and I was just doing this to test out, see if I even can do it, and if I could, I can save a little bit of money that way. But, uh, it's also about, you know, uh, making time to do it, you know what I mean? And I'm bad at that. Hey, Mr. Judge Tree. I said, hey. Now, uh, Lan, what are you... Don't lean, don't lean over that far. Answer me! Stop it, Lan. Now you're just harassing it. But don't you think it should at least answer me? Maybe it's asleep. I don't believe you're... Uh, well, what can you expect? It's pretty much just a tree. Emergency. Well, what? Emergency, emergency! We have a level 5 emergency situation! Looks like something happened inside this building. Maybe we should get outside. And let's go. There's always something going wrong. What? Suspect surrounded. Begin capture. Suspect? Me? A again? Greentown Ordinance 3 states, with regard to the uh, judge tree of Greentown, it is, it is recognized as something vital and important to the town. Therefore, anyone who causes harm to it will, re will be removed in any way necessary. We, in accordance with the above ordinance, have determined that you have harmed the judge tree. What's with these robots going around calling everyone suspicious or suspects anyway? I told, I told you to leave the judge tree alone. Oh, come on. Well, the tree's vital and uh, important, and yeah, level five emergency. Use of stung arms approved. This is escalating very quickly. But wait, stung arms? No! Huh? They stopped. What's going on? You wouldn't have had any trouble if you had faster skills. Ah, it's that strange guy from before. Faster skills? You mean you're the one that jacked in and crashed these robots at that fast, super fast speed? N no way! Lan Hikari. You're at the center of all the trouble recently, but by the looks of it, I can tell you're still oblivious. Not this nonsense again. Look, you still don't understand. This is what they call a setup. Setup? What? By who? There's a quote that says, Do what you do best and outsource the rest. 
here's the thing like i'm not that bad of an artist i'm just a very slow one <laughs> but i am also not good at uh i'm also not used to digital art you know that's another thing your navi's too dangerous while he's punishing himself uh that thing is obedient but what you can't see is how it is consuming your navi something may occur that will cause all causes causes all serious trouble if that were to happen you, i will delete your navi D delete delete mega man don't mess with me i wouldn't ever let that happen hey are you all right are you all right lan I i'm sorry i went and touched the dutch tree oh that wasn't good i guess i should have warned you beforehand in any case I don't think I know who you are, and your name is... I don't have to answer you. The judge tree is most is the most important thing in all of Greentown. No, of all of Cyber City. If I suspect you of doing anything suspicious to the judge tree, I could get a warrant. <laughs> do what you want. Maybe I was the one who was going to harm the tree. After all, I do think that this tree is a bit troubled. What's with that guy? Net criminals that target this tree do exist. And that man is probably one of them. If this tree were to be hacked, law and order will fall apart. I'm pretty sure it would fall apart with AI anyway. We must be on our guard. Character. So, it, it has an anime art style, but uh, Meg Mega Man just in general kind of just has this anime art style. It's not a, it was game first, and it has anime made on it, but yeah. And other, other media like books and stuff, but yeah. The trial's about to start. Good luck. But yeah, uh. Now then, the trial of Captain Blackbeard will now commence. It spoke. The tree actually spoke. First, Prosecutor Ito, your opening statement. Yes, your honor. The defendant, Captain Blackbeard, is accused of endangering the lives of many people at Seaside Aquarium by releasing the animals from their tanks and cages for the sake of watching people panic. We, the prosecution, cannot allow this sort of harmful, selfish behavior to go unpunished. It looks so cool. But again, like, this is the last of the Battle Network games. Uh, you know, there's only six Battle Network games. But these games were being pushed out left and right. Like, the first game came out in 2001 on the Game Boy Advance. And the sixth game came out in 2005 on the Game Boy Advance. These were being pumped out. Like, these were every year. Seems like some of them were also twice a year. Or Battle Network 1 and 2 or something like that. Now, I would like to call Lanny Kari to the witness stand. Uh, yes, sir. He goes, hmm, I'm so nervous. Please state your name and occupation. Uh, yes, sir. I I'm Lan uh, Hikari, and I uh, I never had an octopus. Lan, that's not what he asked you. But he asked something about an octopus. No, no, no. He said occupation. A what? Octo bacon? That's not it either. What's with you and food? Ugh. Now the witness will answer a few questions about the incident. Please answer the best of your ability. On the day of the incident, you were just visiting and enjoying the aquarium. Is this correct? Yeah, I mean, yes, that's right. Can you please tell the court exactly what happened? Um, my friend and I were about to go home. Suddenly, we heard screaming, and before we know it, there were sharks and piranhas all over the place. I see. Moving on to my next question. Now think back. Was the man you saw and fought in the net battle with the same man you see sitting over there? The defendant, Captain Blackbeard? Yes, that's him. But Captain Blackbeard didn't just mess up the aquarium. He also took my friend hostage. I'd recognize that evil face anywhere. This is very decisive testimony. I don't see the need to hear an explanation from the, from the defendant. This, this doesn't sound like a good court system. Hey, Mega Man, this is all I need to do to testify? Yeah, I guess so. You did great. It's just like, we don't need to hear from Blackbeard and what he has to say. This 11-year-old has said enough. I will now pass judgment. The defendant was acting out of malice and selfishness. This sort of evil behavior cannot be forgiven. Therefore, 
I pronounce the defendant, Captain Blackbeard, guilty. I sentence you to punishment room for an indefinite amount of time. Not part. This was not part of the deal, you filthy lion. I'll send you to Davy Jones' locker, you scurvy lat rat. Arr! What the? He didn't say one word during the entire trial, and now he makes a big fuss? This is how criminals always act. When he heard the verdict and realized how serious his crime was, he objected, just as all criminals do. Please remove the guilty party. But yeah, if I were to describe at least the first two Battle Network games, I would call it Saturday morning anime with actual stakes. With actual serious situations that a kid, like an 11 year old, would actually be dealing with. Afterwards, it's now getting a little bit more ridiculous and just traditional Saturday morning anime. But you know, it's still fun. Well done. So what, you, what did you think of your first trial? I was so nervous, but the judge tree is really cool. I guess the tree can run the trial a uh, trial after all. <laughs> you see, actually, that judge tree was my idea. R really? It was a small idea I had in college, but surprisingly, it got bigger and bigger. That's awesome, Prosecutor Ito. I refuse to forgive any evil dealer doers. So my dream is to someday create a society with no crime. Good one. The judge tree is the first step to making my dream come true. Ah, sorry to get a little carried away there. Anyway, I must prepare for my next trial. So I have to go. Stop by and visit sometime, okay? So what's gonna go wrong this time that this 12, 11, 12 year old has to solve that the police cannot handle? Prosecutor Ito sure loves justice. He looks so cool. I want to be like him when I grow up. Well, you're not going to be like him with the way you are now. First, you got to study a whole lot more. Come on, let's go home and do some homework. Oh. Again, this is Battle Network. There is no way it's this simple. <sighs> Master Feng Tong has opened the Net Battle, School, Net Battle School in Greentown. Wouldn't you love to learn the secrets of a master? Yes, it seems like some nothing is going wrong today. Let's actually learn, uh, let's go, let's learn this class, whatever it is. Uh, no, I need this. Hey, it's Master Feng Tan. Oh, 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 funny to run into you, Grasshopper. What are you doing here, Master? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. I'm teaching a special friend the way to control the wind. Ah, uh, yes, you and I met here due to the winds of fate. Thus, I would like to, I would, would you like to take my class? Take Master Fang Tang's class. Once class has begun, you may not quit, Grasshopper. And you must stay here until cl class is completed. Is that understood, Grasshopper? Yes. Again, completely optional, I think. Um, can you teach me the neat move you did at school? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that would depend on you. I teach the art of moving silently and quick like the wind. Moving like the wind. Use my Navi, Tengu Man, for this class. He will help you master all I can teach you. Tengu Man waits in this book of nature. Operate Tengu Man and start our class. Ho 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 Master Fang Tang, Fang Tang, Fang Tang, I don't know. Uh, I wonder what kind of Navi he will be. I am Tengu Man. I use the natural power of the wind. Are you the one I will be working with? Here is our first mission together. Yeah, good luck to us both. Let us begin our class, Grasshopper. Make your way to Green Area 1. There, we'll have your first lesson. <laughs> Green Area 1. Roger. So, this is one of those... Again, this is another one of those uh, splits between Gregar and Falzar versions. If we are playing Gregar, we'd be talking to... We'd be taking... We'd be taking control of Slash Man instead of Wind Man. You have reached Green Area, yes? Uh, we can start. We can start the lesson then. Your task is very easy, Grasshopper. I dropped a few cyber scrolls around the area. You have. You only have to gather them. Gather a few cyber scrolls. That's all I have to do. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That is all. However, beware of the cyber crows I have also left for you. 
The cyber crow crows will swarm around you as bees to a hive. Collect cyber scrolls and touch not the cyber crows. That is your task. Don't touch the cyber crows. Okay, got it. <laughs> there will be no strict path to the end. If the cyber crows start to gather in number, use of the Tango Man's leaf fan is wise move indeed. Push A and the cyber crows will scatter. But the fan's power lasts not long. Do not use it too much. You may see, you may find cyber leaves during your task. Gathering leaves is the way to make it the leaf fan li live again. If you pass this class, young man, you will gain great skill to move around to move very fast around enemies. Work hard, grasshopper. Let us begin. This area holds four cyber scrolls. Please begin your task. All right, gotta find four scroll scrolls. Oh no! It's the crows. No, I am not dealing with you. Okay, that's the home page. There's nothing here. I forget how he fights. I do remember when uh, I was using the cross form of Tengu Man. I couldn't fully affect it, use him effectively. Mostly because I couldn't figure out how to use the whole back B thing. Uh, kind of like the shield in, and reflect in, like, Battle Network 3 and stuff. Because I wasn't good at using that. I wasn't really that great at using ten, uh, using Tengu Man. Two more. Oh! Cyber Crow has pecked at you. Start over again. Oh, no. Okay. Fine. Be that way. This one, yes. Ah! There we go. And I can just grab that. Go down here. Go this way, grab that. Do that. Ah! No! 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 Get away from me. There's another scroll down there. Grab that. Go away. Nope. Wow, this one actually may be tough. With with the tiny areas that like this. No, 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 no! I only got one more. There. Is it? Okay, I need to head back. I need to head back. Nope. I'm out of repels. Nope. Back up. Get up here. Where is it? Where is it? Fine. They are... All of them are chasing me down. They, uh, these crows. There we go. We got it. Alright, I got the four cyber scrolls. Good work. I can feel you becoming one with the wind. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We still have much to learn. Next is green area two. Okay. Still haven't run into a battle yet. But again, like during the test itself, it's not. Uh, enemy counters are off. Here we go. Now we can actually test it out. First, I'll grab one shot. Oh, right. One thing about corn shot. Uh, it creates a grass tile. Wait, it has a stun effect? Hold on. The nose has a stun effect. Okay. Good to know. Alright, green area 2. Green area 2 already. Good. Four cyber scrolls wait for you here. Focus your mind, young one, and go. Four, huh? All right, let's go, Tengu Man. Onward. All right, let's see. Uh, these dang birds. Get out of here. Man, they're already, like, surrounding me. I can't go up there. 
that. Is there one over here? Yes, there is. Maybe all of you get away from me. I can so uh, eh, 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 made it. <laughs> Circled around them. Let's go this way. What's over here? A dead end? Hmm. Dead end? It looks like a dead end to me. But that might have distracted the crows for a little bit. Maybe? Nope. Ah, dang it. Come on. Get away from me. Ah, okay. Gotta start that over. Now that I already have an idea of where I need to go. So many crows. Wrong dead end. Up here. Down here. Take this pathway. That, what's down here? Mm, nothing. Dead end, dead end. Leaves, leaves. Scroll. Okay, push him back. Ugh. Get away from me. I need one more. It's probably here. There we go. Got it. I got all four. Yes, and you are getting better. Oh, ho, ho, ho. your final test waits for you now. Jack Allen, face it. This is it, the final test. I better calm down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the final lesson. I want you to defeat my Navi, Tengu Man. Are you ready? Let us begin. All right, a fight with Tengu Man. Uh, so, here's the thing. There is now a new weakness tri- uh, Not triangle, but there is now a new weakness order for... Okay, there's a total of like eight different elements. And there is now a new set of weaknesses for four of them. We are used to the fire beating grass, grass beating electric, electric beating water, water beating fire. We're used to that. But now there's a new one that's added in. There's Breaker. Breaker beats Sword. Breaker is like air hockey. And remember, Sword, Sword beat Wind. Wind beats Search. And then Search beats Breaker. pattern with him. Okay. I think I'll just go here. Yeah, he's weak to sword. Because the sword cuts through the wind. Oh, ho, ho, you move well now, as the wind moves. Yes, you move through the wind through the air. Through the hair, whatever. About this, I can teach you no more. Now you know the secrets of my art. And Tengu Man can become one with you. Tengu Man's skills are now yours. Use the Tengu Cross wisely, Cross Hopper, and never in anger. I will master Tengu Man's power, Master Fang Tang. Oh ho ho! Even wind can become claws if you know how to use it. Train well and don't forget the lessons you have learned. I won't, thank you. Uh, one more thing. If you need Tango Man, you only need to come here. He is here in this book of nature. I'll definitely be back, that's for sure. I know we'll need him in Seaside Area, because there's that wind tornado. But... Or there's that tornado. Whatever. Well, yeah, now we have Tango Soul. Tango Cross. There is a difference. But yeah, now there's two weakness charts. 
Hey, Lan! It's Dan! Hey, it's Dan! <laughs> okay, whatever. What's up, Dan? Were you at my school? Oh, I had to do something there. Oh, yeah? I went to a trial and testified today, Dad. Oh? That's a really big responsibility. Why did you tell me all about it once we got home? Or why don't you tell me all about it once we get home? Ah, but first, does anyone have anything new to say? Eh, not really. It doesn't seem that way. You go into Greentown. Don't they have a huge courthouse there? I'd like to see if someone would take me. I don't... You have email. It's probably about Tengu. Yep. Now I'll reveal the secrets of the Tengu Cross. When using the Tengu Cross, all wind chips that do not dim the screen will receive an attack plus 10. Okay. Also, when you have air... Sh also, when you have air shoes on, pressing B and back will kick up a tremendous breeze and bring your opponent towards you. There's also dev disadvantages, Grasshopper. Sword attack chips will, uh, sword attacks will damage you twice as badly. Take your cross, master of wind, deadly, beautiful. Yeah, it's the whole back B thing that I wasn't good at using. We can't do that yet, so, yeah, we'll just move on. Uh, becoming a witness is incredible. You gained another good experience, land. You went to Greentown. You should have brought some, brought me some, uh, brought me some flowers. The flowers there are famous for being very pretty. How much money do I have? Next time I go there, I could buy a uh, custom folder two or one. The next day. Nothing went wrong at the courthouse. I don't buy it. Okay, you were ready for another energy-filled day. Ah, speaking of energy-filled. This blackboard got some special maintenance done on it yesterday. And now it works like it's got a new set of batteries. And that just gets me all fired up and ready to teach. Whoa! Special maintenance? Hmm. Didn't Dad say something about uh, dur doing something? Dad boosted Blackboard's power. So you should be like the Blackboard. Or be like the board. No napping. Uh, Lan, y you're hopeless. Lan, wake up! You're gonna make Mr. Mac mad again. There's something in the lockers? Uh-huh. Put down, Mega Man. I didn't make that sound. It came from that closet behind us. Closet? I don't hear anything. Huh? That's strange. I could swear I heard something just now. After school. Ah, it's finally over. You slept through most of it. No way. I was listening. In my dreams. Gotta pay more attention in class, Lan. What happened to wanting to be more like that prosecutor from yesterday? Man, you got mail. Oh, read it, read it. Uh, you really... Oh, it's for Mom. Huh? No, it can't be. What's wrong? Did something happen? Lan, listen carefully and stay calm. Dad. Dad's been arrested. Arrested? You're kidding, right? I don't want to believe it either, but that's what... Why did they arrest Dad? That's not right. It can't be true. It can't be. Why did they... Lan, we can't lose our heads. I know how you feel, but we gotta stay calm at a time like this. Let's go home and see what Mom has to say about this. Yeah, I guess you're right. But is there something in the... Hold on. Email? Okay. Is there something in here? Looks like a good for hiding place for hide and seek. Okay, never mind. I guess... Yeah, Dad's being arrested for... Why, though? There isn't a school newspaper. What's going on? 
Now, I really wanted to read the big scoop today. But for some reason, I don't see a single security guard. Where did they go? They didn't run away, did they? Doesn't Greentown have a courthouse? Sometimes I sneak a snack. That's not a crime, is it? Apparently it is. Unless it's expired. Hey, you were a witness in court, weren't you? Amazing! Were you ner Were you nervous? Did you mess up? Yes, he did mess up. It's Len we're talking about. What's the matter? Your face is all scrunched up. Was there an incident? Oh, I have to find out. Out of all the times for there to be new requests. <laughs> well, Dad, you got arrested? Too bad. I'm going to find out later. I want to talk about money. Someone please help my factory. It's on the verge of bankruptcy. If you have any extra money, please help me. If you can hear me out, I'll be I'll wait near Robo Control Comp 1. Out of all the times for new side quests to update. This is not the time. <laughs> it's just like, Dad just got arrested. We need to rush home and see what's going on. But hold on a minute. There's new side quests we could do now. Working overtime to get today. Oh yes, I've got to hurry up and call home. Otherwise, I'm going to get yelled at. This is totally the time for new side quests. Oh, nope. There he is. How much has he won? Or is this a scam? I think scam. Um... I don't think it really matters. I could just use fire hit, crack shot. Pardon me, you saw my post on the request BBS. The truth is, my operator is a manager, and it looks like the factory might go bankrupt. It doesn't matter how much, but would you lend me money? I don't know when, but I will repay you times two. No, times ten the money. I guess I can. For sure. Please, lend me money. Thank goodness, how much can you spare? Can we do 10,000? This is hard to say since I'm asking for money. You don't have enough zenny. We could come back later. He said he will times it by 10. If that is true, it might be worth saving the money and come back later. You know what? We'll do that. I can only accept one quest at a time, so these will have to wait. Well, I got all my work in order, so now I can go home. The soap opera I love to watch will be on TV soon. You know, with the future, you'd think there would be recordings, right? What do you have to say? Ah, they're fixing up the Greentown Courthouse. You know, the judge tree th uh, there is amazing, especially amazing. Curious to know what kind of changes they're making, but they won't release that information to the general public. It's a software update, you know? Ah, uh, Lan, it's terrible. Your father, he... Say it, Mom, just say it. What happened to Dad? Just a minute ago, the police came to tell me that your dad's been arrested. Arrested? What was he arrested for? He was arrested for hacking the Greentown court system. Court system? You mean the judge tree? That's ridiculous. Dad has no reason to hack anything. I know. He has nothing to gain by hacking the judge tree. Hey, Mom, what's going to happen to Dad? They took him to Greentown. They're going to put him on trial. All right, let's go to Greentown. Y yeah. Dad hacking into the judge tree? I didn't mean to go to Seaside. Eh, uh, I don't believe it. I mean, we were told we were being set up. Green Town. That's what I meant. But yeah, if the side quest truly is a times 10 increase in repayment, let's just go with the max amount we can. Save the money. Uh, a tree over there is a cedar. Through breeding, we made it we made it pollen free. We're working toward a day when hay fever is gone forever. 
just got a new batch of flowers. They make perfect gift for de or decoration. Would you like one? Can't buy one. Uh, the wood used in this flooring is really first class. It's got an amazing smell, too. Anyone over here? You're a sub-chip dealer. Nothing over here. This is the courthouse where all of Cyber City's court cases are tried. That means there's a lot of cases every single day. Actually, I'm a new prosecutor who just passed the bar exam. I still have lots of things to learn. I will now pass judgment. The crime of hacking into the judge tree, for which the defendant, Yuchi Yuichiro Hikari, is charged with, is unforgivable. Even though the hack was successfully stopped, there is no room for mercy. Therefore, I hereby se sentence the defendant, Yuchiro Hikari, to 100 hours of zapping. The punishment is to be carried out in one hour. 100 hours of zapping. He's being put on the chair, but yet he's uh, going to live, I guess. it's This is just torture. This is just literal torture. Dad's guilty, and they're going to zap him in an hour. This has to be some kind of cruel joke. Something definitely feels strange about all this land. You know Dad wouldn't do anything like hacking. We gotta find out more. We gotta be get more facts. And this is the future we deserve. Ah, oh, Lan. Mr. Prosecutor, my dad had no reason to hack anything. He's no net criminal. And I know that you don't want to believe these things. Don't, do you have any proof that uh, my dad did it, sir? The judge tree is proof enough. It said it was hacked by Yuchiro Hikari. I see. This is the evidence we have on this incident. The time of the offense was yesterday at 4 p.m. Mr. Hikari had no alibi for that time yesterday. Thank you, man. What's an alibi? An alibi is proof you didn't commit the crime. Like, if we could prove that dad was doing something totally different at the time, we could prove he's innocent. But we can't prove what dad was but we can't prove what dad was doing at 4 p.m. yesterday. Wait, hold on. We saw dad last evening, Mega Man. We talked to him in front of the station, remember? Yeah, good job remembering that one, Lan. That's proof my dad isn't a criminal, right, Mr. Prosecutor? Fortunately, your testimony is too vague. You have to be a uh, you have to have a concrete airtight alibi as proof. You have to prove exactly what he was doing at 4 p.m. Can we really prove his alibi? Is there anything we can use to prove it? This is no time to doubt myself. Mr. Prosecutor, we're gonna go find something to prove Dad's alibi. We have to. I see. Well, I'll see if I can... If I, I'll i see if, if we can't delay his punishment. Wait. I'll see if we can't delay his punishment. I think that's a typo. I was just thinking. What is it, Mega Man? I think we should do something like... We find where the real criminal is and get him to prove Dad's really innocent. For instance, that guy in the park yesterday. Yeah, that guy. That guy did say something weird about the judge tree. I mean, what? Uh, what is that guy's problem? Anyways, we have to prove Dad's alibi quick. Then after that, we'll go snag that guy. All right, let's go find evidence that proves Dad's alibi. Let's go to the central town since we saw him there yesterday. What does the report say? All right, we'll do, do that one. Report, report. Okay, hold on. Yesterday at 4 p.m., the accused Yuchiro Hikari attempted to hack the judge tree. The great judge tree was unarmed, unharmed, but Greentown takes its, any attempt to har harm the judge tree seriously. Thus, we find Yuichiro Hikari guilty. Uh, I I think this this is the dystopia this is the dystopia uh, court system and it, you know Battle Network seemed to be ahead of the curve on a lot of things predicting a lot of things while this hasn't happened yet it is the future we deserve it is the one we deserve alright well we know what he was doing um, what's the matter, Lamb? Sir, I heard the board was undergoing maintenance yesterday, right? Do you remember what kind of person made those repairs? It wasn't my dad, was it? Dad? Uh, yeah, it was your dad. 
An older guy, right? Old? Hmm. Maybe he was younger. Actually, I was so busy I didn't pay attention. Sorry. Okay. What time did the maintenance occur? Hmm. It was around 3 o'clock yesterday. And it took about two hours. So two hours from 3 o'clock means he was at here at 4 p.m. So, if we can prove Dad did the maintenance on the blackboard, we can prove that he is innocent. How can we prove that it was Dad? The teacher who asked for the service doesn't remember his face. We give up so easily. Let's see what we can find at the school. Someone must have seen Dad here. Seen Dad. Seen. What's the matter? You've been asking a lot of questions. Is something bothering you, Lamb? I'm okay, thanks. Well, if you're okay... So who could have seen him? Maybe there is a security camera. There is a security camera here, but it doesn't look like it's facing the right angle. Something happened. You look really grim. However, oh, there is that security camera. Let's check the middle again, because we heard that thumping. All right, uh, let's check the security camera first. Security uh, recording storage center. Uh, this camera is always filming your classroom, and then it saves that data here on, on this computer. So then, Mega Man, if we check the footage from around 4 p.m. yesterday, Maybe Dad will be on it, and that means that Dad can't be the real criminal. It would support his alibi. That's right. Okay, Mega Man, let's find that footage. Got it! Now, footage from 4 p.m. yesterday, um... Huh? That's strange. What's up, Mega Man? Oh, a virus! W what? Get ready. Of course there's a virus hidden in the security footage. Why would it there be? Oh look, Killer Eyes are back! We haven't seen them since Battle Network 3. I was gonna say I should have gone to Aquacross, but no, I it's a good thing I didn't. I do have Tengu, I could have gone there. What's with that? Where'd that virus come from? Nothing strange at first, but when I started looking for the record date of 4 o'clock yesterday, that virus popped out and started attacking me. What does that mean? It was probably a trap. But anyway, about that evidence. The data from around 4 o'clock yesterday is gone. Gone? What's that supposed to mean? Who in the world? It was probably the real culprit. The real criminal is probably trying to frame Dad. That's gotta be it. There was data of Dad in this classroom at the time of the crime. Then he couldn't be the real culprit. That's why the data's missing. And that virus was to get rid of anyone who realized this. I think you're right. Do you think the guy in court yesterday is the real culprit? Well, we shouldn't jump to conclusions, but the one piece of evidence is that that can back up Dad's alibi is gone. We're back to square one. And we're almost out of time. Huh? Is something the matter? I am the program of this security camera. Uh, the data from around 4 o'clock yesterday has vanished. What? Are you serious? You think whoever sold the data is the real culprit? You wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Maybe. Around At around 10 p.m. last night, there was a strange navvy that was poking around. Maybe that navvy. What did that, nav what did that navvy look like? Well, he was pretty tall. I don't remember anything else. Pretty tall. It doesn't tell us very much. Mega Man, if that navvy was here... Then maybe that Navi's operator was caught on film by this camera. No good, Lan. Everything after 4 p.m. yesterday has been erased, according to Mr. Frog. The corporate has come uh, come to jack into the camera that at night, and then erased all traces that they were here. This person is one sneaky rascal. I see. Um, excuse me, I don't know why you need the data from yesterday, but would you like data from the day before yesterday? I'm sorry, but we don't need data from the day before. We really need to see the data from yesterday. Oh, I see. It is an, it is old data, but there was something unusual in it. Something unusual? This is a different camera angle. There must be four, another camera. 
There's nothing really useful here. Hold on. Ah, here we are. It's just Mick. Him being in the classroom isn't that strange. What's with him? He's all fidgety. Hey, you! Come here! There's something weird in here. It's a security bot. What's Mick up to now? Look, something strange is in... Something strange is in this closet, I tell you. Aren't you a security bot? Aren't you supposed to protect the school? Well then, do your job. I understand. Look real closely. I don't see anything strange. Aw, oh, come on, you're not looking hard enough. It's here. I'm pretty sure the robot could break down that door. <laughs> I got a security bot. I'm gonna tell everyone all about it. But clearly he didn't. It's just another one of his pranks. If I tell Mr. Mac, he's gonna get in trouble again. And anyway, this has nothing to do with Dad. Ugh, we're almost out of time. Anyway, let's try to think of another plan. What you don't realize, Lan, is that this robot is a witness. Huh? Hmm, now that I think about it, I think I might have hurt something during class. So this spot has been in here for two days now. You'd think the batteries would have run, down, when, run dry by now. Uh, you know I'm here, huh? I guess you can see me from inside there. Well, let's get you out of there. Hmm, there's some strange lock here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it was simply awful. The robots need to pant? Are, are you okay? Ah. Oh. What are you doing here? I've been looking for you for two days. Did you hide him in here, Lan Hikari? No. Really? Really? I don't know. Sounds kind of fishy. If you're hiding the truth from me, I'll know soon enough. The security bot records everything it sees. So it'll be on record. One look at the video, and I'll know the culprit. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what did you just say, Mr. Mac? I said that this security bot records everything it sees. What's wrong, Lion? Why the serious face? Don't tell me you were the one that hit the bot. Record. Mega Man, maybe. Yeah, the security bot has been in the closet for two days, which means it has been able to look out into the classroom and record everything we need. Mr. Mac, where's the rec record data? Uh, where's the recorded data stored for the spot? Um, the robot control PC in the teacher's room, but if you go in there, no pranks, understand? Thank you, Mr. Mac. With this data, maybe we can back up Dad's alibi. Now let's go see if we can prove that Dad is innocent. Let's see, what the culprit didn't know is that there was a robot in the room the entire time. And send me into the sphere. I'll look for the data. Okay, we probably need to go to the very end. Probably need to go all the way to the Blast Man set, uh, fight. Man, the video day that the security bot took should be here. Well then, Mega Man, it's up to you to find out, find the data of what that security bot saw at 4 p.m. yesterday from inside that closet. Roger. Hope it records something. Ah, it did. Just as we thought. The bot could see into the classroom. And where's the footage of Dad? Okay, how did it get this angle? Just how? I don't. This makes no sense. There's Dad. All right, Lan. With this, we can prove Dad's innocent. Yeah. Let's hurry up to the courthouse with this data. Wait, Lan. What, Mega Man? We gotta hurry. Maybe this security bot saw one more very important thing. Important thing? Yeah. Maybe you saw the person that checked in their Navi into the security camera. 
can erase all the data at, from after 4 p.m. In other words, maybe he saw the real corporate. I'm assuming that the security bots are connected to the security cameras. Like, they can all see what the security cameras see. But they have their own independent recording, I guess. Yeah, I hear footsteps. Someone's coming in. Huh? It, what? Why is the prosecutor here? What's going on? I don't want to believe it, but there is only one answer. No, no way. It looks like the real culprit of this incident is the prosecutor. The person that f the person that framed Dad is him. But why? Why would the prosecutor do something like this? I'd like to know too. But right now we're out of time. Let's hurry up and get this data over to the courthouse. Yeah. You got the image data. So, um, the prosecutor being the bad guy and framing evidence? What a shock! I would have never guessed. Alright, off to Greentown. Alright. Let's go prove Dad's innocence. Court will not be in session today. Did you have some business here? Where is Yuchiro Hikari? The criminal Hikari should already be in the punishment room. He should receive his sentence shortly. Why do you want to know? His alibi. Yuichiro Hikari had an alibi. Is that so? Yes, it's the truth. Hmm, I believe you. I'll make an exception this time. You may go to the punishment room. Is that over here? Dad! Again, he is on the chair. This is just literal torture. Dad! Looks like we made it. Oh, felt the sneeze coming on for some reason. Dad, can you hear me? We're gonna get you out of there right now! Is that you, Lan? I'm okay. So don't do anything rash, okay? What are you talking about? What about the zapping? Ah! The punishment will begin in 20 minutes. Begin preparations. 20 minutes? We gotta hurry! Hey, quiet. Silence is golden in the punishment room. Again, this is just a literal torture tank chamber. Hey, mister, please listen. Dad's punishment, the real culprit. So, hey, hey, calm down, kid. Now, what's wrong? My dad, I found evidence that supports Yuichiro Hikari's alibi. I can prove he's innocent. I wonder. But no, you, if you really did, then that means we found an innocent person guilty. He would be the first in Greentown. Uh-huh, the first. I, I I, totally don't buy that for a second. We gotta stop the punishment now. Well, you can't do that from here. You have to get permission from the judge tree. All right, I'll show the judge tree the proof and stop the punishment. Is there something like chair used for punishing prisoners? I could... I mean, it makes sense, but we are going to the network of the electric chair. Or the punishment chair. On the punishment chair program, wrong wrongdoers will regret their wrongs in, their in this chair. I don't have any unlockers, do I? No, I don't. Oh, it's Craggers again. Um, I can hit him both with fire hit. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and try Tengu. Do these guys have a bigger defense? But I uh, noticed something. I don't have... Oh, I have air shoes. I just don't have float shoes. See, so like, I'm affected by poison. So, it is a wide shot. But you could just keep 
Use the fan to push him away, and then you do back and B to bring him forward. Oh, blue mystery data. Full energy? I'll take it. I'll take it. Jailer can watch over the prisoners from this window. How? No. I do not buy that for a second. I'm assuming he's supposed to be on the other side. Uh, how can you see the prisoners, prisoners, all of them, from that window? No, that's that's not how it works. Prosecutor Ito. Ah, oh, Lan. Did you find something to support your dad's alibi? If you didn't, it may turn pretty bad for him soon. I found some. It's a recording of the real culprit. What's wrong, Mr. Prosecutor? I see. I've been amassed. So you really did. Yes. The story about your dad hacking was a lie. But you didn't fall for it. Not even the trap in the security camera. And come to think of it, why did the punishment robot suddenly stop that time? I underestimated you. Or was it that my traps were too easy? So all this time it was you, Prosecutor Ikto. Why did you frame my dad? Because I have my orders. People in high places make th make easy targets. The same with your Navi. Your Navi skills. Your dad and his brains? You stand to lose a lot when you have a lot. And you're going to lose it all to us. The organization. The organization? You can't. Yes. The organization that has caused you so much trouble. No. Then why did you sentence Captain Blackbeard? Uh, that was because he failed in his mission. Failure. Fail uh, failure. Failure is not tolerated in our organization. Anyone who fails is removed. That is our rule. Then you really... Yes. My role in the organization is to remove nuisances to... Uh, to us in a lawful way. That's why I can't not take. That's why I cannot take back your dad's sentence. I think our chat is over. Do it, Judge Tree. If we do this, we won't have to hide anymore. Pronounce that every person in Cyber City is guilty, and then convict this troublesome boy as a felon. I will now pass judgment. I pronounce everyone guilty. For what? Guilty of what crime? This is the dystopia we deserve. <laughs> Lan, it's too dangerous. You'll get zapped. For now, I think. We, we better get out of here. Yipes, you're right. Everyone come along quietly. Do not resist re arrest. What is going on? I haven't done anything wrong. Well, I guess I do like to sneak food here and there. I don't remember doing anything that was that bad. Tell me what I did wrong. No, help me. What's going to happen to all of us? <laughs> Are they following us? They should be. What's going on? They're probably barricading themselves in there. As long as they have the judge tree, the prosecutor could do whatever he wants. I don't think he could, he wants anyone else near that tree. He really planned this well. What should we do? And what's going to happen to Dad? And everyone else? And it looks like the prosecutor is manipulating the judge tree. And that tree commands the punishment ro robots. I say there's one thing we can do. We gotta pull the plug on... We gotta pull the plug on the judge tree. If we do that, we can save Dad and stop the punishment robots. Yeah. We gotta find a way to get close to that tree. Well, hmm. We can't just go in through the front door. And trying to slip by the punishment robots is too risky. But if we don't get in there now, they might start Dad's punishment. Let's look for another way in. We gotta find a way to get near the judge tree. Hey, what's going on here? Go through this door. To open this door, please enter password. The law governing NetNavi's rights is what law number? Navi lo rights law is what number? No idea. Okay, hold on. 
the judge tree is acting very strange. So this is not something we expected. How could the robots turn on us and use the law in their benefits? What has science done? Ah, you're here. Lawyers in the making is always open. Study whenever you like. Huh? What? Nednavi writes. Yeah, they do have those. And it's covered by Greentown Law number 153, I believe. That's the kind of zeal for studying we like to see. I'm so pleased. Is that all I needed? I think that's all I actually needed. One... Fifty-three. You may proceed. Here we go. Again, this is starting to look less of a tree and more of a machine, but whatever. This is Judge Tree's roots. It's gotta be it. Lamb! You gotta find a port to check me in. And that'll stop the Judge Tree. Got it! And it appears that stops this judge tree from withering. Not from any... Not from here, that's for sure. Go up the ladder. This is inside the courtroom. That means... Prosecutor Ito! Hey, Lan, what are you doing over there? What do you think you're gonna do? I'm gonna stop the judge tree. Stop? <laughs> I suppose you could access the judge tree from the control panel in front of you. But you should give up, Lan. My nappy judge man is in that tree. On top of that, there is one more guest in that tree today. But that navi is very powerful and very evil indeed. Prosecutor Ito, I don't get it. You were so cool during the trial, and you have such a great sense of justice. <laughs> a sense of justice. I gave up on justice a long time ago, but why? A uh, long ago, when I was young, I thought I'm gonna put up, uh, I'm gonna put all the bad people in jail. But you see, Lan, no matter how many bad people you lock up, lock away, there are always new criminals to take their place. Yes, I realize the horrible truth. As long as there are humans on this earth, there will always be crime. It doesn't matter what we do or what rules we make. And so I lost faith in justice. Around that time, the organization found me. And I was reborn. I figured that if humans couldn't make the perfect society, then I might as well destroy it. That's messed up. I can't see how that makes sense at all. That's because you're still just a child. You'll understand when you grow up. But I guess we'll have to... We'll have remade the world by then. I really, really respected you. And I thought you were cool. But now I, now I see I was wrong about you. So, I will stop you. With everything I have. Let's go, Mega Man. Mega Man, you gotta find a way to stop the Judge Tree. That should stop Dad's punishment and the robots. Raj... Er... Paul... I hear a voice. Halt, you'll go no further. You have violated the law. State your name and submit your punishment. I just haven't played that game, but I know the meme, kind of. Mega Man, why do you fight so hard against us? Wh who are you? You will answer. Why do you fight so hard against us? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because it's the right thing to do. Such a showy reason. I'll feel no regret in deleting you. All right, then. We'll crush you with our strength. Get ready. W wait You... You're... No good. He's already gone. That was probably Prosecutor Ito's Navi just, just now. No, I don't think that was him. But it did sound like... But that can't be. What's wrong? Have you heard that voice somewhere before? No. I'm sorry, Lan. I must have heard wrong. I mean, it's not possible. Anyway, you better get going and stop this judge tree. I'm the program in charge of the Judge Tree. I got a lot 
I've got a lot to say if you want to listen. As a counter to the recent hackings, we've implemented a means to prevent backtracking in this ca in this comp. Step on the panel in the area and the grass will begin to grow. Stepping on the grass is regarded as breaking the law. One of the guards in this area will appear. A court will be opened and violations will be punished. One more thing. One step is considered one crime. Step on three grass panels and you'll, you're guilty of three crimes. The more crimes committed, the bigger the punishment. Oh, another thing. Press L to look at your surroundings. Press L again to stop looking. The best thing to do is look ahead, then move forward. There should be a door blocking your path. There will definitely be buttons near there. And pressing all of them will open the door. Take care and good luck. So we need to... We need to press the buttons. So... We don't need to step on every tile. Alright, let's see. We need to go around up, so we can go up here. Wait, what? What is that? Coming road. Pull enemy in front of you. So, does it just pull the enemy, or does it set magnet tiles on them, on the ground? 140 damage, that's actually not that bad. Anyway. There's this part of me that wants to fill up all the tiles, but that's not gonna happen. Okay, so you can go down here. Go down and around. Let's go, have, go ahead and grab Tengu. I will just, I might as well just use Firehead in this. Cannon Star. That's a program advance right there. Alright, let's go over here. Now, where do I want to go? Yeah, I want to grab that. So, down and around. Blue Mystery Data. Step Sword L. Not bad. Not bad. Fire hit, go ahead and bulk in. I feel like this guy actually has a higher defense than it seems like. I wonder if I hit him with a, uh, a search move that I don't have, actually. Alright. I'm gonna go here and grab the green. Up and around, grab that. Panel return. It's not bad. Here. There we go. Made it to area two. Okay, where am I going? First, we'll go up here. Okay, let's see. Okay. Here, grab that. 1,200 zenny. Go this way. Go up here. Tengu. And what I can do... Pull it forward, fire hit, double delete. Now that I have a better understanding of how uh, Tengu works, I probably will end up using it more. It'll make setting up Fire Hit a lot easier, that's for sure. Alright. 
I'm gonna grab the blue. We'll do that first. Yo yo N. Alright. What do I need to do? Three buttons. Okay. Green Mystery Data Machine Gun, one star. That's pretty good. I some strategy right now. Tengu Soul. Frame forward, fire hit. God. Okay. This way, up and around. Over here. Down and around. HP memory. Very nice. Yeah, that rock enemy takes like half damage. In all reality, his HP should be double that. Unless we have like a search chip, I think. I'm guessing that's how it works. Let's take a look around. Going straight up is a dead end. I can grab the green. Let's grab the green. Barrier 100H. Okay, from here... Here, go over here, up and around. Grab the blue mystery data. Reg up three. Flip the switch. Alright. Okay. Here. Hmm. Just kind of looking at the same thing right now. Let's see if I can hit them all at the same time. Well, I got some of it. There we go. This way, up and around. Head down. Press that switch. Go up. Spreader 2 star. Alright, what's next? Three switches. Okay. Look this way. Fall, hug the wall. Up and around. Oh, I didn't get rid of him. There we go, got him. Down. Blue mystery data. Ex Ooh. Uh, Navicus is now more more to work with. Flip that switch, go up and around. Okay. Um, what can we do? I only have jungle. I don't really have anything to add right now. Go up here. And we are here. You're... No. How? How can... 
It's been a while, Mega Man. Land. I didn't expect that no our meeting would be like this. Colonel! I knew it! I knew it was you! That was your voice before, wasn't it? What's going on? What are you doing here, Colonel? Oh, yeah. You have an idea why, don't you? You know that if I'm here, then this operation is under my command. Your command? You could say that Lan's dad is in the punishment room because of me. Why are you saying these things, Colonel? How can you do these things? You said it yourself earlier. You fought for what you think is right. Your own sense of justice. I am merely doing the same. But I... I have a purpose greater than a sense of justice. And for that, I am standing in this side of the battle. And if that means I must go against you, then so be it. Nothing personal, but we, mu we part ways here in Mega Man. Colonel, do you know what you're saying? What are you doing? If you really do this, I'll never be able to forgive you. So that's how it is, huh? Just as I suspect expected. Given your personality, it's only natural. I have no choice. From this moment on, we are enemies. Prepare yourself, Mega Man. Wait, Colonel! You should know me well enough by now, Mega Man. I'll show my enemies no mercy. Get used to it. What? What was that attack just now? I just felt like I was being slashed. Hmm. I feel that presence nearby again. Yeah. Who's there? Where are you? Mega Man, what just happened? Someone just slashed Colonel in incredible speed. It looks like there's another Navi in this comp. You stopped my attack. Are you taunting me? I don't know who you are, but I'll take care of you myself. Judge Man, Mega Man is all yours. Wait, Colonel! So, the guest he was talking about was Colonel, huh? I want to find out more about Colonel, too. But right now, we've got our another enemy to focus on. This guy's probably Prosecutor's Ito's Navi. So, thou art Mega Man. I shall be thy enemy. Thou shalt tie Colonel's hands no longer. Judge Man, make sure you punish them thoroughly. Prosecutor Ito, enough of this. Enough is enough. Please stop this. You're smart. You're a smart boy, Lan. Why do you want to fight against us so much? Can't you feel it? Can't you understand? All I want is a perfect society, free of crime. But that's just a pipe dream. I can't forgive crime either, but I've never thought about destroying the whole world because of that. I can't forgive crime because crime makes the people I care about suffer. I don't want my dad and mom to suffer. I don't want Mick and Iris to suffer. That's why I fight. You really are still just a child. You're too nice. Being nice is a good thing. You're making people who are important to me suffer right now. That's why I'm fighting you. Mega Man, let's show them what justice is about. Battle routine set, execute. We are felons, Judge Man. It does seem that, as thou says, and criminals shall be punished accordingly. Alright, Judge Man. And we immediately start with Flamehook. I think we can start with Tengu Man. It is not, if I remember correctly, it's not the best idea to use Aquaman. I could be wrong, but even then, I don't even know if Tengu Man is even that good an option. Program Advance. Flamehook 1. That's 300 damage right there, because there's that. It's an electric sword. And I think... You know, both of my crosses are weak to it. But I don't know what takes priority. Is it a sword, or is it an electric? Or both? And I'm not, I'm not going to find out what it is. Or I don't want to right now. First, uh, we'll do this. Destroy the books. Easy. 
Easy. Judge Man's pretty simple. 4,000 Zen. Ugh. How can this be? I've been defeated. I noticed the grass tiles on the pathway are gone now. Hurry, Mega Man. Stop the Judge Tree. Okay. Here it is. It's an emergency override button. Emergency situation, shutting down the judge tree. Emergency situation, shutting down the judge tree. Great job, Mega Man. N no! Judge Man lost! The robot's electric arm stops zapping. That means Dad's safe, too. After that, I hurried to Dad's cell. Somehow, we stopped it in time, and Dad was okay. But boy, did we cut it close. There was only one minute left. You can't imagine how happy I was we made it. After that, the real culprit of this whole incident, Prosecutor Ito, didn't put up a fight. He quietly let himself be arrested by the net police. He wouldn't say anything during the investigation, and after examining the judge tree, it was found that the prosecutor had really messed up the tree's program. It looked like it was going to be really hard to fix. But somehow, a few days later, the tree was able to hold trials again. Its first job was... I pronounce that Prosecutor Ito is guilty. He will be stripped of his title of Prosecutor. Effective immediately. That's it? In the end trial system set up by the prosecutor was used to put the prosecutor himself on trial. I'm sure adults who saw this said to each other, how ironic. And I'm pretty sure the prosecutor got a very harsh punishment. All we know is his title stripped. Oh yeah, there was one more person who needed punishing that I can't forget about. That person was in Central Town. This is what you get for hiding the security bot. And you get to do this for the whole day. Yes, Mr. Mac. I mean, he was going to find out anyway. I'm coming in. Oh, it's you, Vic. Ito messed up and got himself busted. I know. Just a little more, and Cyber City would have been ours. Prosecutor Ito, he may have followed, but he managed to do what he needed to do. There is no need to worry. Our plan is still going fine. How is that operation going, by the way? Heh, <laughs> forget about it. Who did you take me for? I'll get... Uh, I'll get that program, you'll see. Barrel. I'll send Colonel to you shortly. Just be safe. Soon, our plans will be realized, and the World 3 will rise again. World 3? Oh, no! Yeah, the day will come, but it won't be thanks to Colonel. World 3 is going to rise again, and Barrel's on uh, with Team World 3? Why? And today, rain will be starting in the afternoon. That's it for, uh... That's it for the weather today. I'm Mr. Weather saying goodbye from Skytown. You know, I hadn't really noticed since moving here, but the weather forecasts in Cyber City are more like notices. Now they control all the Cyber City's weather in Skytown. They can just control the weather? So the forecasts are right 100% of the time. Oh, they can control the weather. That's cool. Again. You can see the dystopia happening. You can see the you can see the conflict that's going to happen right in front of your face. You know what's about to happen. You know, so, you know all sorts of things, Mega Man. I don't know that much. Besides, Mr. Mac told us that in class, which means you were sleeping again. Ugh. Ugh. He really told us in class? 
Are you sure? <laughs> Man. Ah, I got mail. Hurry up and read it, Mega Man. Alright, I'll read the mail. It's about round two of the Expo Pavilion operation. Operator Navi selection test. Round two of the Expo Pavilion uh, Operator Navi selection test will take place in Skytown. Round two selection test participants should gather there prior to the test. That's what it says. Hey, Skytown! Perfect timing. Just what I just what I wanted to know more about. Come on, Mega Man, let's go check it out. But before Before we go ahead and do that. Wait, hold on. At the heliport on the admin building in Skytown, Mr. Dingo has started a chopper's op chopper operator school. Take this chance to learn the sweated net, net battling style. We'll do just that. But first, I have the money. Let's go ahead and uh, continue that side quest that started. And we'll spend more time doing side quests. I think we'll do the... I think we'll end up doing that class first, and then go back and do side quests. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, I have the money. Took my request. Please! I don't know when, but I'll repay t times two. No, times ten! The money. I guess I can, for sure. Please, lend me. How much can you spare? 10,000. We're saved! I'll be sure to pay you back one day. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. That's all that was needed. And supposedly he'll pay back. We'll see how that comes back into play. And net event for the expo sounds like it was exciting. If, uh, if I were only 10 years younger. Mick ran by here just like like crazy just a little while ago. He was yelling, I'm going to Skytown, or something. But let's see. Are there more? Actually, there doesn't seem to be any new ones other than the ones that were added. Lost an important chip. Will someone please get, help me get that chip back? Actually, I'm not a na I am a Navi, so I don't even know if I can make requests. But if you can, if you can help, I'm the one in front of the chip shop in Seaside Area 3. All right, off to Seaside Area 3. First, let's grab this. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Skytown first. Where are you off to? Eh? Skytown? Oh, I went there once myself. It's really nice there because the town floats at uh, 30,000 feet above the ground. Anyone down here? Ah, uh, you. You look like you've got tons of chips. That reminds me. Do you have a Barrier 100H chip? I do. Would you like to trade for my Air Hockey M? Yes. Great, so here's my chip. I accidentally put this chip into a chip trader. I really liked it, so I had decided I had to get it back. Thanks. That's... damn it. Not what I meant to do. Actually, now that I think about it, before we go to Skytown, let's go to Greentown. Because I think we can set the shortcut up for the homepage. And if we can, I want to get that set up. I think the incident was a big shock for everyone. Uh, yeah, it does. It was. And it should show that you need to restructure how your how your uh, judge system works. If it could be hacked that easily. Would you like to put HP links? Yes. Thank you. Green banner. Fairly well. Yeah, 
have to say. People are... People are beings who have many faults. That is why they need the rules they call laws. Thus, those of you here at the Green Home page will receive the grand tradition of the law. Alright, I wanted to set up that shortcut. Now let's go ahead and go to Skytown. Once you get in the elevator, you'll be taken straight up 30,000 feet into the air to into the air to Skytown. I'm scared of heights, so I can't ride it. Um, I'm here to take part in the selection test. Can you please show me the email you got from us? Yes. Oh, I see. Thank you. Well then, please take the elevator up to Skytown. After you get up there, please head straight ahead towards the big building. My navy will be waiting inside, so please check in with him. Okay. Do that later, though. Because we got Dingo, baby! Wolf it isn't land! Long time it's been a long time, buddy. Dingo! What are you doing in a place like this? I opened a nip out class, right down there on the helipad. I wanted to teach people how to chop things and clean in two, just like Tomahawk Man. So if you want, come check out my class, alright? Yes, I wanna do that. Please, Dingo, set me up. You said on the helipad. There's Jack import for the elevator. Okay, we'll check that out. Oh my god. This is the elevator con. I got something I want to say, so please listen up. Please quit hacking into the elevator like a herd of elephants. You guys need to lay off the fast food. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm better now. He's not wrong. Pulse bulbs, okay. One, they use electricity, so keep that in mind. I'll set up flame hook. But if I'm correct, you cannot hurt them. Until they attack. Oh, the charge shot is 80 damage, okay. It's really good, actually. And it charges pretty quickly. Tengu Man's a really good one, isn't it? This is the elevator's control panel. It looks perfectly normal. You know that's gonna be set up for later. Speed plus one? I think I could throw that in. See? I'll throw it in. Alright. What about over here? Right here. And they are electric elements. There we go. I can't remember if they themselves are electric elements or if it was just their attack. No, I want to talk to Dingo. If you want to take my class. If you want, come take my class. I want to do that. I want to do that, Dingo. Is it one of those things where... Okay. Do I need to leave and come back? Or do I need to continue with the plot? Hold on. I'm just picking central. Sky. I want the next cross. Alright, hold on. Oh, it's later. Dang it! Fine. Okay. We're gonna save it for later then. Let's go and... 
You know what? First, I want to go to Greentown. Let's go take Tengu Man and take him over to Seaside Area 2, because there's that tornado. I'm going to have him take care of that. I'm going to do side quests for a little bit. Alright. Now that we got Tengu Man, let's run all the way to... Okay, we're gonna need to take Tomahawk Man there, I believe. This, uh, yeah, the axe is too weak. Okay, don't you think that there have been a lot of scary rumors lately? When it's dark or scary, I just laugh it all away. How about you buy a program to make you laugh for 3,000 zenny? It's probably the humor chip or program, which I wanna throw in. But I think for right now, I want to save up for custom one. So we take this. Over to Seaside. Now we're in area two. Got 600 zenny. Down here. Just kind of hug the wall. F Tornado. Attack enemy with spinning twister. Let me see. Wait, what? How come it. Oh, does it attack every enemy? Just where they stand? Oh, I need to test that out again. A cyclone like this is nothing for a windmaster. <laughs> He raced the cyclone with one wave of his fan. And we get an attack plus one. Now again, I think if you're Slashman, you could get through these tornadoes. Because again, sword beats wind. Oh, what a beautiful nose. Sorry, am I embarrassing you? There's different dialogue because I'm Tengu Man. I think we're good. All right, I got that. I wanted to grab that very quick. Now I should go... I guess I could just go back here. It's fine. So the axe, I think all it's actually meant for is to access green area one from central three. I think that's all it's actually meant to do. Uh, you're going to Skytown. Be careful, okay? Don't fall off the edge. It's 30,000 feet. Really? No new mail. Okay, so I need to go to Seaside 3. Seaside Area 3 chip shop. Okay. And remember, you have to be Mega Man for these. Come here, come around. Oh, look at all the fish. Let's see if we can put them all in the same area. There we go. Triple delete. Got some Zenny. Okay. Green Mr. Gata, Energy Bomb V, don't need that. Help! Help! This is only a test. This is only a test. Be sure to practice your scream for help. Oh, God. Ah, oh, hi, Boomerang will do the trick. Boomerang! Four hundred zenny. Now to head to the chip shop. Welcome to Seaside Area 3. Huh? This area is less depressing than others. Well, that's because I'm an optimist. What's up here? Nothing! You came after reading the... Re uh, you came after reading the request, BBS. Thank you. Lately, a chip that my operator really loves went missing. Doll Thunder 1A is gone. My operator is so mad. He said, don't come back until I find Doll Thunder 1A. 
if I don't get that chip. I don't want to be abandoned. Please help me. Give me Dolphin. Get me the Dolphunder A chip. I don't have it. But it's not something I can buy, can I? At least not from here. Maybe it's something I get in Sci-Town. That would make sense to me. Look at this. Bring them all forward. Fire hit. Triple delete. Okay. So... I can't do this. But I do want to check something. I think there's a green mystery data here that I missed. Let's go here. Or... Hmm. Fire or flame hook. I don't need triple delete. Ah, uh, there's the blue. There's the blue mystery data. Okay. I need to line up correctly. Tengu, White Sword, and we're good. There we go, double delete. Tengu is a lot of fun to use once you know how to do the wind thing. Okay. Uh, let's try here. Yeah, I made it. Okay, good. Reg up two. And what's down here? You need the seaside key to open the store. Which I have. Let's see. I guess I'll just fire hit, double crack. Aha! Uh -huh. You can't do anything to me! Actually, I can't really do charge shot and that fast enough. And, and the back wind thing. What's down here? Central area, too. Okay. That's how we get to this upper area. Let's take a look. Tengu. Back beam, fire hit, triple delete. Seed A. Hmm. I'm the water pipe program. Cyber City's clean water pro uh, processing is very effective. So feel at ease when drinking our tasty water. Okay, can't do anything there. Uh, honestly, I think the doll might be in Sky Town. So, I think we'll just continue. I think I would do this right now, but it's kind of what it is right now. I can't do level 2 missions yet until I do this, I think. So, just leave it at that. We can't talk to Dingo for whatever reason, so we'll just move on with plot for a second. Air. So thin. Faint. Must. <sighs> An antenna that was used to broadcast the weather report. But it's not being used now. It's just another object. Let's see. 
a very, a very big heater. It could create very hot summer-like conditions. The port for jacking in was built in for control panel purposes. Heater comp. Let's see. Blue mystery data. What do we get? Thousand zenny. All right. I'll take it. Bunch of fire enemies. Let's go ahead and try arrow. There we go, got it. The control panel is operating normally. Well, that's good. Nothing bad is gonna happen, right? More blue mystery data. Charge plus one. I'm the heater program. I don't just heat the room, I heat the soul as well. Hot, hot, hot. Let's go ahead and throw that charge plus one in, I guess. Oh, I can throw an attack as well. It's a red one, too. It's so weird. I'm not used to, like, the attack programs being different colors like that. I wonder if attack max is still in there. Very big fan. It could create very strong winds. Port for Jack was built for control purposes. Let's see. We get 1,600 zenny. Pretty good. Fighter planes. Okay. Or Tengu. I guess we'll fire hit. I guess. Air Raid 1. Operating normally? Good. We got Oil Body now. Sweet. Now we can get Fire Elementals uh, more often. Basically, do a patrol and then they shoot. Vroom, 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 vroom! The rotation of the fan is perfect again today. Okay, what else do we got? It's up here. Mr. Weather decides the weather, but he also radiates energy from the, his large sunlight spherical body. He really is the center of weather for Cyber City. A very big shower can create large rainstorms. The port for Jack and Ian was built for control purposes. Oh. <laughs> hey, you. You like animals? Yeah, this item I have. You can call very rare animals. They call it rush food. Buy it for 3,000 zenny? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. You use that in the dark corners of the cyber world. You could call for something. You don't know the dark corners, huh? Here's a hint. Bones. Figure the rest out for yourself. Up to nine of those can be used. If you want more, just come back. So we're looking for bones, I guess? Hold on. Rush food. Rush's favorite highly nutri- Okay, I only have one. I see. I have to keep buying more rush food from him. Hmm. Actually, let's go aqua. What I can. 
can do is charge shot sword area grab. I'm frozen for a bit. There we go. Easy. Control panel is operating normally. That's good. Blue mystery data. Reg up one. Nothing down there. Hmm. I think I'll just go off the man. Too hot, not too cold. That's the best kind of shower. Don't forget it. Got a buck fragment. All right. Very big air conditioner. It could create very cold winter-like conditions. A port for jacking in was built for control purposes. Air conditioner comp. It is acting normally. That's good. That's good to see. PowerPoint? Okay. Oh, what do we got? Let's go Tengu. Let do this. Can I bring the fan forward? I mean, yes. Come on. There we go. by the fan as well. I am the air conditioner program. My job is to lower the temperature. Everyone says I have a cold personality, but I don't agree at all. Blue mystery data, reg up one. Perfect. It's down here. Dead end? Okay. Is that it? Dead end. Okay. So the shower one, I could buy rush food. But I haven't really found a place to use it yet. The fan, heater, air conditioner, and shower here are familiar objects that represent the weather. The fan is for the wind, heater is for the heat, the air conditioner is for the coldness, and the shower is for the rain. Yeah, I kind of figured. Ugh, I'm so nervous. Good luck, kid. Uh, yo, you're you're late. Good luck to you. Compress oxygen oxygen tanks. A lot of oxygen tanks are ready in case of emergency. Since Sky Town is floating 300, three, uh, 30,000 feet in the sky, there's a port for jacking in. What's this? There's something stuck between the two tanks. HP memory. Why are there? Why is there a port for jacking in in these in these oxygen tanks? Why? What purpose does it serve? Three buck frags. That's what it serves. This oxygen tank is for emergencies only, so I don't really have any work to do. Ah, nothing in the world to do. What is the purpose of this? What, what does it actually serve? Like, how does this actually help? Why do you need a computer network inside of an oxygen tank? Oxygen tank. but I gotta keep that one in mind. Okay. Same thing. Tengu, fire hits. I love this combo. Uh, what drop? What? A dropped memo pad? With 729 written on it. What? Hmm, don't know what that's for. Various meters are blinking on and off. Only certain people know what each meter represents. <laughs> oh, 
Welcome to Sky Town. Looks like everyone is just about here. Shall we get started then? Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin round two of the Expo Operator Navi Selection Test. This time, we will test your strength in battle. All right, that's our specialty. <laughs> get too cocky, you'll fall flat on your face. I'll pass. Just you wait and see. I lose to no one. And no way am I losing to you. I'll play. The playing field will be the net area sky area. Sky area has two parts and two judges in each part. Find and talk with the judge to begin the test. So by test, you mean battle, right? That's correct. Before I explain how to jack into the net, I'd like to ask that everyone go to Mr. Weather and register. What? We get to meet Mr. Rather Weather? I watch his weather forecast every day. And I'm so, uh, I'm so happy. Mr. Weather, that's, a, that's the robot on the TV, right? That's correct. Mr. Weather is the famous weather idol of Cyber City. There's also the Sky Town's mainframe system. Cyber City's weather is all decided and controlled by him. Wow, Mr. Weather is really something... Uh, it's That's really neat. Now please, head to where Mr. Weather is. Please, take this elevator down. When you stop, please go down to the small set of stairs there. Let's go! Yeah! Cyber City's current weather is displayed on the monitor. Looking at it, there's a number on it on the corner. There's a lotto number. This monitor is showing the weather worldwide. And controlling the weather, if you don't think about the balance of weather worldwide, you could create a disaster. Looks like you, you can check into this control panel. Are we gonna play God? Are we gonna mess with the weather system? Are we gonna cause a drought in Ant Ant Antarctica? Are we caught? Anyway, reg up two. Uh, we want Tengu. I guess we'll go with Fire Hit, I guess. Being quite crack shy, we'll just bat everything. Back going. Although it'll just go wherever you are, I see. We can just lock on. Oh. Either he reached me in time or he has a certain range. I'm not sure which. Mystery data, 3,000 zenny. That's more rush food I could buy. Today's weather in Cyber City is clear and sunny, meaning great weather all day long. Okay. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to review my research notes. If something happens in this area, then I should use a sword type chip. And do this, and yeah. There are all sorts of data that just lined up on the shelf. All sorts of. Yeah, okay. Same thing. What about the lockers? Personnel? Nothing special, just overstuffed with items. One of them's gotta hide something. Mr. Weather is over there. Make sure you check in with him. You're taking the test too? Good. We came for a good battle. The umbrella you got earlier is very strong. What umbrella? You could probably even use it as a parachute. Float down if you want it. Really? Okay. What parachute? I don't remember getting an oh, I don't remember getting an umbrella. The upper air navy test is a whole lot tougher than I thought. God, that's how you see these two. I didn't I didn't think you see these two this this early. So this is the real Mr. Weather. Welcome to Skytown. Whoa, he spoke. Now here's a little something just for you. There we go. 
You will now all go to the net and take some tests. Speak to our four judge navvies on the net, and you will be asked to bust some viruses. When you beat one set of viruses, you will get a wind card. Once you collect all four wind cards, A through D, please take them to the navvy standing in the big plaza in Sky Area 2. You can ask the navvy where you jack in if you forget. Alright then, good luck! So we need to go down here. I'm scared. I mean, I would be too. There's no handrails. This is a hazard. This is a hazard. There is no rails to stop anyone from falling off. Sub chips. I could buy unlocker. I just realized, like, there is nothing stopping anyone from falling off at 30,000 feet. Where was I supposed to jack in? In here? It's locked, okay. Oh, where's the next judge? Hmm, I just can't win. An antenna that is used to broadcast the weather report. You can jack in. Sky homepage. Welcome to the Sky homepage. Sky Town is a techno techno town installed into the sky. Blue, blue skies. Hey, wait a second, right? If it's alright with you, oh, home oh, we're doing this already. There we go. We got the homepage links. That's nice. Let me get to use the unlocker. Auto heal. Hold on. HP recover every, after every battle. Hmm. If you want this to be more like Battle Network 1, I guess. Blue Mystery Data. Vulcan 3A. I don't even have Vulcan 2. I don't even have Vulcan 2. Also, wait, Vulcan 1 is actually not doing that much damage anymore. I need to replace it with other things. But it pairs up so well. Let's go take it. And we'll go ahead and have fire hit. Sky Area Cafe. Nah, I'm not gonna drink coffee. I'm the level one judge. We try three consecutive virus battles. Yes. Okay, a bunch of fire enemies. We go Aqua. And might as well use High Boomerang. It deals a lot of damage. Oh, wow, they actually cracked the tiles now. I don't actually need to go Tengu, because I have Flame Hook. But I am anyway. Ah, these guys. Okay. Um... I guess we'll start with doing uh, this. Oh, I forgot to go Tengu. Yeah, I forgot to go Tengu. Oops. I would dealt way more damage. Than I did. There we go. Got him. You're a natural. Congratulations! Please take this. Win card A. One down, three to go. Green mystery data. Mega energy bomb G. One, roll one, two, Aquaman, Tango Man, Jenga. Okay. Let's see. 
There's two per area. Oh, that must be the the doll I need to find. Can I hit them all? Yes. Oh, right. He heals himself with electricity. Wait, how did I kill the doll? Didn't he have 90 HP? Someone had 90, right? I'll show you my true power. Okay, going down here technically leads back that way to Central 3. Oh, this is what the rush food was for. Can I not do this yet? I forgot that's what this was for. Can I not do it yet? Okay. Now I'm remembering. Okay. Hit them all with this. In some ways I made it worse for myself. Anything just yet. I have the rush food. How come it's not letting me do anything? It said you you need nine on hand. Or you can only hold nine. But I have one. Is it just something that it just won't let me do till later? And if that's the case, then why sell it to me? Neil too. I mean, I don't really like the first one. See, like, it's making the sound. Oh, you know what? I think I know why. I know exactly why. Hey, isn't the, isn't the test this time a little too hard? There's no way I can win. A little too judge. That's five consecutive battles. Okay. this time. I know why. Because for each each square, you need a, that many bones. So when there are three bones, I need three rush bones. That's why. not going out front. He knows what he's doing. Wait, now it's 100 damage. Is it because of the attack boost I gave? It is because of the attack boost. Okay. Tengu? And I can hit them both. Same time. Oh my god! The bees! Not the bees! What are you- why are you hot? What are you doing? Tengu. Let's heal up. We'll use corn shot for it. Actually, no, we'll start with roll. Full health, but it works out. One more. Wait. 
I, I, I hit him. Was it mid attack? You know what, this time I'm thinking of going Tengu. Instead of Aqua. Good, here you are. Win card B. Nothing there. What's up here? A thick, dense cloud is blocking the way. Oh, I think I know who I need for this. I need Tomahawk for that tree. Tengu. We'll have fire hit so I can hit both of them. There we go. Double delete. Yeah, we need Tengu for that. Five consecutive battles! Wonder if I'm up to it. Is there any? No, I think we're good. We could just keep. Flames are too high to pass through. We need Aquaman for this. So we'll come back. Tengu, fire, hit. Actually, no. Corn pop. Corn shot. And we got the green. More Zenny. 2000 Zenny. That's pretty good. Pretty good for right now. Test? I'm just a tourist. So what's this about a test? Got 970 Zenny. Please search out the four judges in Sky Area and get the four win cards. Good luck. Yeah, we need to come back and talk to him. somewhere. And both with Boomerang. There we go. And we even got a counter. Wave Arm 2N. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's probably on the higher path. <laughs> we'll win. Just you wait. I've had a few close calls because of mix operating. But on my skills alone, we'll win. Hm. It'd be such a bother to have such a useless... It's such a bother to have such a useless operator. Looks like we need Aquaman for this one, too. We need Aquaman to come here. Alright, Tengu. And we'll go... I guess corn shot, I guess. I think I'd rather get rid of the five. Wait, it can spread? It can spread. I didn't realize it could. Green mystery data, bug fragment, we'll take it. That. Wait, what's this? Now approaching the undernet. Due to the danger, entry is prohibited. Aww. Oh, one thing you can do, since I have one of the bones, 
I throw one piece of rush food. Now, permanently, rush is a platform. I'm the level three judge. Five consecutive battles. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Let's go Tengu. Let's get Corn Shot. Still gonna go Tengu. I am going with fire hits, I guess. Hitting both. No. Come on, get in front. Oh my! They're out of sync. I got rid of one. And I have roll. There we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. I was gonna bring it up, it's kind of weird that they made Colonel a bad guy here. When, and Lan knows who he is, right? So it's kind of weird that they went this route. Because if you play Team Proto Man, you probably you wouldn't really know who he is. I mean, you've met him once. He helps you out when uh, Proto Man is captured, but that's all he's helped you with. He shows up for like one time to weaken Proto Man and then leaves. So if you play Team Proto Man, honestly, this plot line doesn't hit that well, does it? This plot line really makes more sense if you play Team Colonel. So I do think that is a flaw with Battle Network 6's plot. Whereas, yes, it does continue from the last game, like normal, that's not the issue. It's that it makes you pick... It kind of punishes you for playing Team Proto Man. In, in, at least a little bit. One problem with Battle Network 6 I can name off. I present you with Wind Card C. Blue Mystery Data. Reg Up 3. Getting a lot of Reg Ups. How many do I have? 30 megabytes. Wow. It's down here. I'll just go Tengu. I'll hit him with fire hit. Oh, of course there's the other fire hits. Oh, it's fine. What's here? Teleport comp. Blue Mystery Data, HP plus 50. I'll go ahead and use the bees. See, okay, there was a... He is invincible. I must have attacked him at the exact right time. 
like right when the attack activated. That's probably what happened. I knew he was invincible. Oh, we got an unlocker. What's the heliport con? Would you like to try a riding a helicopter? Take a look at the world from the sky. And say goodbye to all your troubles. Let's go up this way, up and around. Ugh. <sighs> no. Good. Can't go on. There's a hidden platform. There's a hidden walkway. F, program advance, flame book. Take your soul. Yeah, here we go. Blue mystery data, M cannon. Wow. Well, I'm gonna make a save. I'm the level four judge. Ten consecutive battles. Let's do it. Alright. Tengu. We'll go... Double shot. Now grab... Try arrow. I'm not gonna bring it forward just yet. that. There we go. Let me show. Was that five shots from Triera? Uh, anyway. Ingu, Boomerang. I don't want to use Boomerang just yet. There we go. If I wanted to double delete, I could have used my chart chart to push him forward. Ingu. I will start with using Corn Shot to get rid of the Shaker guy. Get, get forward. Get to the front row. Fine. There. this hyper moon will be enough. There we go. Oh, you know what? I should go beast out and see what uh, this looks like. If I make it another turn, we'll try it. Oh, I... Mm, I meant to grab the flame hit. like big nose again you still keep the same chart wait is the chart chart even longer or was it always like that did it always have that range well, anyway um oh i forgot i could do more extra damage with this Ah, there we go. It's like Gyroman's charge move that way. Okay. I know we didn't really use... We didn't play Team Proto Man, but, you know. It's basically like Gyroman's move. Try arrow. Easy. Easy. Found number eight. Tengu. I will go ahead. 
ahead and use my no, fire hit. Shot. Something like this. Oh. Oh, it just naturally has a plus time. Okay. I misunderstood. I misunderstood that. Alright. Uh, Tengu. We will start with... These two. Actually doing normal damage. Tengu. Uh, I think I'll hit them both. Hoping he wouldn't be like. Perfect. Hmm, victory! You breeze through that! I can see your power and speed techniques are blended well. Well then, here you are. Win card D. Alright! Alright, I have to go back to the judge. Like, should be done by now, but now I gotta talk to you. It seems that you have finished all the tests. Now please show me the cards you have collected. Hmm, <laughs> very nice. You pass with flying colors. Congratulations! We'll send you a notice about the final round soon. Good luck on becoming an operator, Navi. Give the final round your all. As a bonus, take this. With this, you can remove the clouds in Central Area 3. We did it, Lan. Yeah, we did. Next round is the final. I'm so excited. I wonder how Mick and the others did. Ah! So, how'd you do? What do you think? Does it look like I won? I totally lost. I made it to the fourth guy's eighth battle. And then Mick, the idiot, had to go and mess it all up. Shut up! You're the one who missed with the wide sword there. What? You're the one with no skill, and you blame me? Come on. Now, don't fight. We should start heading home, right? <laughs> same old, same old. I'm out of here. And he's gone. And now he should be able to take care of himself, but there is an entrance to the Undernet around here. It's your phone. L Lan, help! My Navi! He got taken by some strange Navis from the Undernet. No way! Please, help me. Okay, leave it to us. Let's go to the Undernet. We're already going to the Undernet. I mean, the entrance is literally right there. Come on, I need... I need the electric doll thing. There we go. Doll Thunder 1. I'll keep that. Net one. And yeah, that would create a shortcut. Okay. Let's take a look at this side over here. So, here's the thing about Undernet. Apparently, in the original GBA version, one of the Undernet areas was completely removed. In the D in the GBA version, English. Anyway, ooh, double delete. We're on the same spot. Ooh, I need more of those. So this game has another crossover with Boktai. That Boktai crossover was taken out of 
of the English GBA version. But when they remove the undernet area, and apparently cause some other issues, they reorganize some... Uh, like, they had to reorganize some ship locations because they actually taken out an entire undernet area. I think that's how it worked. Right. Not only did they remove a Boktai content, I think to just, like, not program it, they just removed the area altogether. I think that's how it went. Ooh. Memory map is wider. Is that all of it? That looks like it to me. I could throw this in, actually. I need to do something like this. Oh, it actually looks like there might... Nah, I don't know. Extra 50 HP. Eventually I'll change this up, but I don't have much to work with. But, um, oh, I can use that. Step Sword B. Okay, that's not bad. So, when they removed the undernet area, some of the chips got rearranged. When this version came out, we have the other undernet area. But, when one of the... There is a door that requires you to get all Mega Chips. But, due to how they, like, set all this up, if you were to do one of the side quests from, from the request board in the wrong way, you miss out on a Mega Chip. However, I think they fixed it by now, so I am not sure how this is all going to work. It's something where I'm going to have to play it carefully. But we'll get there when we get there. Nah, I don't care that yet. Oh, right! It's a sword! I lost the form. Ooh, we got... We got four bug frags out of that. That's good. Oh, there he is. Found him. Hey! Are you okay? Uh, uh, Mega Man? Are you hurt? I'm okay. Darn! They really got me good. Those guys that brought me here had better watch out. I'll remember this, and they'll pay next time. Um, okay. Hey, those statues. The, the offering is escaping. What do you think you're doing, Bluey? It's them. They're the ones that brought me here. Who are you? We are the followers of the Psybeasts. We worship them. And in return, they make this world even stronger. You two are going to be are going to be chow for the Psybeasts. Psybeasts? Looks like these guys don't know what Mega Man ha don't know that Mega Man has one. What are you going on about? Anyway, you two will be enough for both Psybeasts. Hey Psybeasts, dinner's here. Ooh la. Mega Man, be careful. Yeah, I know. What's going on inside of me? The side beast trying. No, wait. Is the statue making the side beast stronger? La. Check out quickly. Side beast breaking free. Hurry. No, you're checking out with me. I'm trying to keep the side beast down. Not much longer. I'll be okay. You hurry. If you don't, I might hurt you. Okay. I'm sorry. The offering is escaping. Whatever. We still got one. This shrimp should be enough. Law. 
What's this power? Ugh. Going beast out. Oh, notice Gregar's eye is uh, lit up. I'm pretty sure Falzar's probably is too. The, the four. Psybeast. Falzar, I'm not going to give in to you. That was the Psybeast shape. Mega Man, Mega Man, wake up, Mega Man. Oh no, I gotta save Mega Man. So that's what happened to the Undernet. It's too bad, but I think you should give up. The Undernet is too dangerous. Man, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I'm going home. Please don't talk to me right now. I can't believe I lost so badly. So we need to take control of someone else's Navi. Alright, duh. Not that round. Uh, I was scared that I couldn't even take one step. I mean, there's no guardrails here. I heard the story, but to take take on those internet guys, I wouldn't have been able to do a thing. Mr. Weather, Skytown's main system, and charges... Yeah, okay. Are we supposed to run to, like, Aquaman or Tengu Man? What? You're going to the Undernet. Sorry, that's one place I can't help you in. It's too horrible. Mm. Is that... Okay. I think we're supposed to head to Aqua or Tengu. Maybe we could borrow D uh, Dingo? Can we borrow Dingo, actually? My apologies, but I'm not holding class now. Come another time. Of course. That whole setup with... I wish you got the email later, honestly. What? The internet? It's true that a bunch of suspicious guys have been showing up from the internet. But there's nothing I can really do. Let's go grab Aquaman. Because we can use him to open up two areas in Sky Area 2. That's so far the plan. At least we have the ability to just, like, borrow Aquaman at any time. Oh, Landry, are you going to operate me? Yes. Alright. Let's go take the shortcut at Land's homepage. Almost there. Um. Let's go with this. Yeah. All right. Sky area. Now we need to get to area two. Oh, blue mystery data. HP plus 100. Take the left path. Go up, I think. Oh, I thought he would move forward. Oh, he got hit twice. That's hilarious. Oh, dang. Thought it was enough time. Twin arrow. There we go. I got rid of him. Okay, I can't do anything. I guess I'll use roll and crack out. This should be enough. Alright. Bug for oh bug for trader. Bubble wrap mine. Poison seed. Grab revenge. Neovari. That's not a mega chip. 
Bug Death Thunder. Well, I guess we're going to be saving up for that. Save that ship. No, nope, you're good. Alright, let's open this up. Even I could take care of, the, of a fire this big. Drip. Wave of water from Aquaman's head. Put out the fire. Django 2. Another mega chip. Okay. Actually, I don't really have many mega chips in here. I might throw one in. Throw another one in. I want to see what Django does. Let's get rid of... Right, I think I was getting rid of these. Yeah. I'll throw in... Behind second row power up. Just to change it up a little bit. Alright, I need to go up here. Up and around. Oh, if I do this, I lose out on the green mystery data. Okay. This is going to change things up. Okay. This is not what I planned. Took a few hits, but I got the green. Got some Zenny. And I got Snake. Okay, fine. No, I want to put out the water tower down here. The broken Mr. Frog. He keeps repeating the same thing over and over again. A left A R B R A L B. What does that even mean? Okay. I can totally use Trip Shower. Oh! Oh, I was gonna say, does he always go in the middle? But I was just in the middle spot. Never mind. Oh, that was a cool combo. My chart shot was still in effect. So when I used air shot, I pushed him into the second one. That was a cool combo. Alright, let's go save Mega Man. Okay. Oh, let's see what Django 2 does. Rides in on his motorcycle and just charges through. Okay. I guess he's just that cool now that, you know. This was 2005. Come on. Like, motorcycles were all the rage. Look at Shadow the Hedgehog. Alright, here we go. Let's go save Mega Man. Hang on, Mega Man. Ugh. The side beast is acting up again. But Mega Man! Mega Man's in pain. Land, what should I do? Hold on. A little bit of his spirit might still be in there. Mega Man, please wake up! But if I wait any longer, I'll get evaporated. Mega Man, please wake up! It'll probably be different dialogue if you're using Tango Man. Drip. Mega Man, who are you? You moved at such incredible speed that no one could see you. 
Are you in the Navi that fought Colonel in the Judge Tree? Gee, who has a purple sword like that? Don't worry, he is merely unconscious. Lan Hikari, even if you have to delete Mega Man, you must stop him. Would you let your weakness for him put his put this Navi and the whole cyber world in danger? Don't forget that Mega Man is a great danger to everyone. This time was a warning. Next time, no mercy. My weakness? I'm... I'm... That was scary, Drip. I'm glad we got Mega Man back. I don't think you did anything wrong, Lan. Cheer up and let's get... Let's check out. So where'd those worshippers go, anyway? Did Mega Man go beast out and destroy them all? The next day after school... That's it for today. Make sure you all go straight home. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Mac. Hey, Mick, let's go home. Yeah. What's wrong? You're not still thinking about yesterday, are you? Look, it's okay, really. What happened yesterday? I couldn't do anything. That's why I said don't think about it anymore. Besides, I couldn't do anything either. Hey, what happened? Come on, you two. I don't like seeing both of you down. Lan, Mick, look, I'm fine. Really. Let's go home. Mega Man. See, Mick? Even he says he's okay. So come on, let's go. Okay. Uh, why can't you guys just tell me a, even just a little bit? I'll race you to the front foyer. Hey, I'm going too. Good to see Mick back to his usual self. Ugh, we better get going. And I got a few things to do. So this is a good stopping point. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbox 64 Stream Archives. Next time, we should be able to finish that side quest that I started. We should be able to start Django's class or Dingo's class. And then we'll go from there. Anyway, have a good day. Later.